What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. I know I said I wasn't too sure if I was going to have a video out today, but I decided to go ahead and we'll try a different type of a video today. Needed to have a little bit of sanity in between doing PSA orders. If you're one of the people who use me for PSA, or even if I manage your accounts, just check your accounts if you haven't heard from me because I'm still working. Um, everybody else should already had emails out to them on to their... Orders since we're getting ready to close out the July special. All that stuff is heading out to the mail tomorrow. Alright guys, today, like I said, different type of video. Wanted to see what you guys think offhand. Um, probably a good debate for something different. Uh, just dealing with the NFL right now. So, my question is, which quarterback has the best chance to make a comeback this year? Or be the comeback of the year, however you want to word it. So... There's many different quarterbacks out there. I kind of left out like Russell Wilson because I don't think he's going to be considered a, in that category as a comeback uh, quarterback at all. I think he's already pretty well established. So I know a lot of people are going to throw out some names. These are the ones mostly I thought of today as I've been doing PSA and looking at everybody's orders. So let's get the first person up. Mr. Winston. We're going to start off with him. I mean, honestly, if it's anybody I have a toss-up between, this is one of them. Um, Winston is one of the guys that's either going to make it or break it. A lot of times I'm like, I don't know onto him because of the fact I think of him when he played for Tampa. Prior Tom or Brady Tampa. And his just touchdown interception ratio was just insane. I mean, he would throw for like 40 touchdowns and throw 35 interceptions. It was, it was just there. And a lot of it, you know, might have been his fault. So it might have been receivers, but just is. I, I think he's part of the toss-up, but I would probably pick him as the number two out of the bunch here. So, what do you guys think? Think Winston, could he be the comeback player of the year? For quarterbacks only. It's only quarterbacks. Let me go down here. I got to get each one on and off here with the pictures. You know how much fun that is. Coming out of the same rookie class as Winston. How about Marcus Mariota? I mean, I looked at his picture. I was like, that doesn't look like Marcus Mariota. I did like triple check it today because I was like, is that really him? He's real. It just shows. Uh, what has that now been? Seven years since I really seen a picture of him. He's really changed. Yeah, I mean, you can just tell, like, an older maturity face on too. But honestly, I don't think Mariota's going to have a chance at comeback player of the year or comeback quarterback of the year or even be talks into it. But you never know. I mean, they could have uh, some stud receivers that just do breakout things this year, and he does get it offhand. But I just, I'm not really willing to put my money on Marcus Mariota. All right, next one up. And like I said, this was all triggered because I've been doing a PSA all day today. I've just been looking at what everybody's sending in these July specials. All right, next one. Matt Ryan, now home with the Colts. I mean, possibility, and I don't really, f I guess you could say, give Matt Ryan a whole lot of crap because of his time in Atlanta. His playing time has dwindled away. He has a nice young receiving core up there. He does have Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. I just don't think it's going to help enough. Um, just from what I've seen, it, and I know I've talked about this with some of you guys um, personally too, I just think he's really aged hard with his throwing arm and everything else. I'm not saying he hasn't done a phenomenal job. He's not a great quarterback, nothing like that. It's just, I think, uh, old father time caught up to him. But even though, you know, he's on a good team, I just want to know, does he still have an arm or not? Is he still going to be able to put the ball out there? Is he still going to be accurate, you know, out 20, 30, 40 yards down the field? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see on to it. Next quarterback up, which I really didn't want to touch too much, but we got good old Deshaun Watson. If anybody should be a comeback player of the year, it should be Deshaun Watson, I would think, offhand. But we don't know if he's going to still make it for this season and be suspended. So I kind of went with like a hush or no comment onto it. 
I know he'll be a lot of talk if, if he actually plays a full season, possibly. Um, it just depends on, really, if he's going to play, be suspended. If he's out six to eight games and one of these other quarterbacks, you know, over the whole course of the season does better, I wouldn't see Watson being the comeback quarterback of the year at all. But if he does not get suspended by any chance... Possibly offhand, but at the time of this video, I mean, I haven't heard of him being suspended yet. All right, next one up. The man he replaced, Baker Mayfield. Believe it or not, I couldn't find anything in the Carolina Panthers uniform yet. And I know, I know, this picture just kind of makes him look smug and funny and stuff, but Baker, I, I'm really to think about this here. If I think he does enough in Carolina to where he's okay, but I don't think he does enough to really put him as an established quarterback, if that makes sense. If he starts, I think he'll do all right out there. I just don't think we're going to see like super stud numbers off of him offhand. And I, I don't know how many are going to be short passes, say, to the running back out there, stuff like that there. But I, I think he'll do okay out in Carolina. I just don't think he's going to hit superstardom out there either. Last one. I know as soon as I put this up here, somebody's going to say, it's because you're a Steelers fan. When I really thought about all this today, I thought about Mitch Trubisky. And the reason is, I think that if anybody has a chance with a young receiving core, now the only question is going to be is their offensive line. Is, is he going to do well? And is the organization going to stick with him through thick and thin through a few games to get, you know, used to it and not throw Pickett out there to the Wolves? Now, granted, if Trubisky gets hurt, I got it. But I think out of any of these out here, He's got some nice young receivers. Firemuth, it was starting to become a stud at the end of his tight end um, for the Steelers. I think he might have the best shot of all out there. Now, like I said, a lot of this I was thinking about at the card show yesterday because of people coming around wanting to, you know, go after you. Had people wanting to chase Lamar Jackson still. Of course, you know, Louisville College. Um, you know, Herbert's, Burroughs, Brady, one I didn't hear, Stafford. Amazingly, like I said, when he went to the Rams, I said, Stafford, breakout year, Super Bowl. Now, granted, they might not have won a Super Bowl. You know, there was that chance out there, but they went out there and did it. So, but when I think about this, I mean, no way is he going to take the Steelers to the Super Bowl. It, he'd be lucky if he could make playoffs with them. But if he could keep his, you know, touchdown interception rate fairly, you know, I would say better than, you know, a two for one type deal. I think maybe people start talking about him as quarterback comeback of the year, possibly. Another team I didn't really put in here was the Seattle um, Seahawks. I was thinking about them, too. But to be honest, are they playing Drew Locke at the beginning of the year or not? I mean, I, I don't know. I believe Jacob Eason's still on the team. I really didn't look a whole lot onto it. But I, like I said, I really was digging into this and I was thinking because some people might add Russell Wilson to it, but I don't think he had a horrible year to where they would consider him a, like a comeback quarterback of the year. A lot of these guys have been given chances uh, and stuff like that. I kind of threw Matt Ryan in there because a lot of people have questioned his arm the past two, maybe even three years now. And I know Baker because he just what all happened up there. A lot of people um, dismissed him and stuff like that. So I kept him on the list as well too. Sean Watson again hasn't played for a while. He might still not be playing for a while in a regular season. But I'm curious to see what everybody else thinks out there. I mean, if you got some other quarterbacks you guys want to talk about, too, on to here you think might have a good comeback story, please throw them on there. I, I was really trying to think if there was anybody else out there. I mean, Kyler Murray, some people might say, but I still, until Kyler Murray can break the first half of the year as a good quarterback and the second one as a mediocre to poor, I, I didn't really put him on there. 
And I know he just signed that big, huge contract, but just, I thought Winston, Mariota, Matt Ryan, Watson, Baker, uh, Trubisky, big changes, guys that um, really haven't done a whole lot with their career. And they pretty much were like on the roads out. Winston has been, you know, pretty decent down with uh, New Orleans, especially during a time um, after Drew Brees. So we'll see. But curious what everybody else has to think. Like I said, a little bit of a different video today. Just some of my thoughts and opinions on this stuff. Uh, it, I, like I said, I think if Watson plays a full season, it's probably just going to go to him unless he has a dismal season. Or he doesn't uh, play at all. Probably Trubisky out of them all has the best shot. Between him and Winston was my thoughts originally. But alright everybody. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch y'all next video.